Hey everyone, it's Siobhan here. Today's hair idea is inspired by the actress Amanda Seyfried. There are some really beautiful pictures of her circulating around Pinterest, and I found out that they were taken at the People's Choice Awards 2013. Um, it's a top knot, but it's very um, unique in that it kind of takes up more space on the back of the head, like you always think of a top knot sort of being like right here and that's it. Um, this one's really cool, it's all twisty and turny. So I began to look for some instructions thinking maybe like there was like a stylist blog somewhere that had some pointers on how to do it and I did in fact find something. So I will link that information in the underbar. I will also put a picture of the original hairstyle. I actually think that I have a little bit more hair than the actress because mine doesn't quite turn out the same way. Um, but it's a, it's a really cool style and it turns into a, a very pretty updo for those of us who have long hair. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna jump right in. For this project you're gonna need a brush, a comb, probably a mirror to check any details in the back. I have some pomade here, my got to be stuff. Um, you're going to need some small clear elastics or any elastic that is your hair tone so that it hides pretty well and of course bobby pins. Um, and you're going to start off by making three sections um, on the head. The top section here, it doesn't have to be a lot of hair, just enough that you can gather it from ear to ear and um, enough to put into like a little ponytail. Instead of tying this second section into one ponytail, you are going to divide it evenly into two pieces underneath the first ponytail and you're going to just tie them into two pieces so you'll have three small ponytails at the top here. With the last section of here you're just going to make one ponytail and you don't want it to be too low on your head like down here you want it to be a little bit more like centered at the back of your head. Before moving on to the next step, which is knotting and sort of pinning, I'm going to take my pomade and I'm going to use it to sort of smooth down like all these like little frizzy bumps that sometimes happen when you're pulling your hair back tightly. And I'm also going to use it um, on each individual ponytail. I'm going to start with the top section first. So I'm taking the section from the middle here on my left and my very first ponytail. I'm just going to make a knot. And now I'm going to put a bobby pin here to keep my first knot. I'm taking this strand from the middle and I'm going to take this side now and make a knot. And I always use like the longer piece to be the one that wraps over and through. Like that's just me. Um, when I'm just messing around with the pattern, that's kind of like what I came up with. Just kind of going back and forth, making knots, and then pinning them. And you can make them loose or you can make them tight. Here, I usually have like two ends um, that are kind of short and then one that's long. So then I just take my ponytail here and divide it into two pieces. And I just continue to knot with whatever hair is left over from the top. Oops. At a certain point you'll probably be down to like two strands of hair out of the original four ponytails. Um, so just keep tying knots um, and until you're finished and then just pin them all up and whatever like little tail is left behind you just kind of tuck it underneath the updo and pin. So yeah there's like a lot of bobby pins to this one but um, I feel like this is like so secure it does not move. So that's pretty awesome. So if you have a lot of hair in a special occasion, this is a good one, I think. This is 
what it ended up looking like on me. So uh, you want to try and cover your elastics best you can, but if you miss one you can always pull a loop down and pin it on top of the elastic, which is what I did over here. And I really like this hairstyle a lot. It's not so much a top knot as it is a really cool updo on me at least, but I think I do have more hair than the actress. Um, but like I said, the higher um, up on your head that you put it, the more top knotty it will look. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you liked my video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.